Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the parallel universe. Now I showed you a trick the other day and a card had a hole and it turned into a square hole. Well somebody in the comments said about maybe you could do it as a um, card change, colour change or whatever. I can't remember what he said now about changing the card but I thought oh let's have a go and see if we can do a colour change now. So it does require three cards. A seven of spades on a red back, a seven of spades on a blue back and a king of diamonds double faced playing card and some good old rough embalm. Now if you do not have rough embalm this will work with rough and smooth spray. If you do not have any rough and smooth spray go into your kids, child's, whatever room, if you've got any children, go and get a white children's crayon. That will, to a certain degree, act as roughing balm. So give that a whirl. Right, I've just got a couple of crappy playing cards and I've just marked them just so it's a bit easier to see where the roughing balm is going to go. So I want you to assume these three cards are these three cards. So this is the double faced king and you will have rough embalm in the top left hand corner. And as you turn this card over the bottom right hand corner, um, bottom left, top left. So this is going to be the face you're going to see. So top left, a little bit in the corner, just in the corner. And on the other side, a little bit on this corner, because when these two cards go together, look this king you will have rough embalm here. So on the card underneath, the seven underneath, you're going to have some rough embalm on this bottom right corner so that these two points, when this card is turned over, will be together. So these two cards will stay as one card when you try to spread. When you spread the three cards, you will only spread two because you will be hiding this seven behind it. So those are the top two cards. And then this four of diamonds you will have um, in the top right hand corner which is going to be the card underneath so you're going to be in this position this is this card and you will have a little bit of rough embalm in this top corner so the face card rough embalm top left rough embalm bottom left next card rough embalm bottom right next card rough embalm top right So once you've prepared your cards, you are going to present the trick by showing that you have two cards. If you spread in this bottom right hand corner, you will spread the two cards and you will hide this seven behind. So you're going to say, look, I've got a couple of cards. I've got a seven of spades. Now you can be quite free with this card, but sort of always be grasping it here so they won't split and show that you've got a seven of spades on a red back and a king of diamonds on a blue back. Square these cards up. You can once again show you've got two cards if you want. And you're just going to take this king. You're going to go through your patty. You can come up with any patty you like. I am just fascinated with the whole parallel universe. And the, the, the scientists and the physicists do believe that there are that many, an infinite amount of universes that anything that can happen will happen. So somewhere out there is somebody doing this trick with different cards. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole pattern for me. So you're going to spread and show seven of spades, red, king of diamonds, blue. Turn this king over and then you're going to turn these cards like this. And now you can go into your pattern about in a parallel universe, the cards would be a different color or whatever. And then when you spread from this bottom corner again, boom, you will show the seven of spades but this time the seven of spades is now a blue back and the king is now a red back. What? Because you, you've just switched the cards over. So this top card now is a double faced card. It's a double card, which is just adhered with this rough embalm in this bottom corner. So let me just set it back up again. That's it. That should be it. So we're going to show you've got a king of diamonds, seven of spades, the seven's red and the king is blue. We're going to turn the king over, flip it over. You could give it a magical gesture if you want. Now when you spread, the seven is blue and the king is red. That is crazy. 
Um, when you can turn this over if you want, but I'm not sure where the roughing bar is. You can't spread from this corner because you'll flash all these cards. You might be able to, oh, maybe this top corner. Okay, this top corner seems to have roughing bar, so you could put these on the table and spread from here to show the two cards only. So let's just turn that back over. Turn it over that way, flip it back over. These two cards flip over and it should be set up again. Right, let me just show you something with these two cards. A red seven and a blue king. We're gonna give them a little wave and a spread and now we've got a blue seven and a red king. Oh, you can't spread from there. Oh, you can. Can you spread from there? Or you could spread from the bottom and show. That would work. So once more, we'll turn that over, flip it this way, separate those two cards and you should be good to go. Right. Seven of spades, king, blue. Magical wave, seven of spades, red. King, red, what? I've no idea what's going on. I'm even confused. So that's how you do it guys. Comment, subscribe, like, and come back tomorrow for the reveal of what? I haven't done it yet. Come back for another trick then. So, uh, and thank you to Ray, you know who you are. Cheers buddy.